Michael Jackson's Thriller Album. Stories in the Room. This is Michael Jackson's Thriller Album, Stories in the Room. Join film composer Anthony Marinelli, who programmed synthesizers for seven songs on Thriller, and a and veteran film producer Stephen Ray, who assisted Quincy Jones and was in the studio every day with Quincy and Michael. Michael Jackson's Thriller Album, Stories in the Room. I'm Anthony Marinelli with my longtime close friend and co-host, Stephen Ray, bringing you the real stories directly from the talented people in the room with us during the making of Thriller, the greatest selling album of all time. Yes, oh my goodness. And I got the actual pipe organ here. And, and, and um, it was also doubled with something else because there was a thin, there was a thin bit too on top of that. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, come on. <laughs> okay. All oh, right. By the way, uh, Bruce was classically trained. He was long before he was oh, an engineer. Well, that makes a lot of yeah. sense. Two layers. So you remember the two layers of pipe? I, yes. Yes. So this one, I didn't have to make this. I found this sound. This was the. It was saved on floppy disk. Wow. And it called right up. Now the only thing is, I think you can only play six notes total. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. there's a lot of partials going on. Did it have a low one like that? Yeah. It's possible. But I definitely remember this one. I remember that one. You're used to the other one. Yeah. You, you went on the road with that one, right? We, yeah, the, the bigger ones. And there were, there were two of them. They were just controlling all the tracks, you know, while we played them. But that's what But I, this is just FM, and yeah. it's just made using sine waves, basically. And I don't even think there's much, uh, let's see. There's very little bit of FM modulation in the sound. It's com the components are this, mm -hmm. this, play it, play it again, and then this one. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then that one, mm -hmm. the octave. And then if you go to the other organ sound, mm -hmm. it's that, there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. And those two, so you put those two together. This was such a big deal back then. I mean, this was just, this was... Sinclair for the, the game The pinnacle changer. of, you know, I mean, the, of, of all synthesis. It was, it was a game changer. Like totally said. game changer. Well, while you're there, yeah. you want to see um, the Billie Jean bass? See if you remember that. The thing I remember most about it is the, uh, um, the, the electric piano part, the rose part, because that's in the bridges. And I remember the bass, but I don't remember what I played it on. So it was, it was Lewis Johnson playing bass, it's double. Yeah, but there's there's an, there's, there's an extra note nice. that just bump, bump, yeah. it's just that. Mm -hmm. And that's not Lewis, that's uh, probably me. And then Lewis is going, he's doing the uh, the the main ostinato figure, the dun, 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 but there's the, there's a doubling of that uh, first note. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Along with, with the, the higher, along with the higher synth that I did. But then there's the chord that does it. Um, isn't that what you're talking about? No, no, I'm talking about a low bass thing. No. Oh. Greg yeah. played a low bass thing. Yeah. Oh, what'd you play that on? I don't know. Yeah. But if you if you I mean, solo that, I don't yeah. know where that is. Yeah. And it might be lumped in with what Lewis is, is doing. It is. Yeah. It is. You but think? that's part of the texturing stuff that Quincy loved to do. See, all I remember is the well, here's the sound that you doubled, and I, I recreated it on SyncLav. Okay, there it is. Wow. That's what we did. Well, so, so what I'm talking about, in addition to this, 
right? In addition to that, and in addition to what Lewis is doing, I'm talking about just me doing, going like this. On, you think it was on this sound? Yeah, I'm not sure. But could it was have on been something. Mini Moog, anything. It could have been, yeah, exactly. But it was just. Oh, so every time there's an F sharp. Oh. So that, that, I didn't catch that. Oh, yeah. 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 That's, then, that, that's that layering and texture layering, yeah. thing that then, he always would do. Do you remember the bridge? It was this sound. Oh, yeah. Really? Hold up. Yeah, guys. Hey, so we won't miss anything. I don't remember that. Because I thought. And then it goes. Yeah. Wow. Back to that. And you can That's hear funny. it. Huh. It was a punch in. Huh. Wow. Try it. Maybe okay. Brian played it. Yeah, maybe. But it's weird because awesome. on this multi-track, it's punched out. Like the, the original double, bass double that you did is punched out just there. So it's not that ah, sad. This just okay. comes in here. In only, those sections. Only okay, in the ridge. Well, well, see, that's... Only in the major thing. That could be why. I, I don't think know. You I do it. remember this, of course. Well, let me get the oh, this right, yeah. Isn't that a crazy sound to double an electric right. bass with? solo the partials. That's the main part of the sound. Mm -hmm. And there's a low. Oh yeah. Very Octave. Low. And then there's Wow. Digital. This is a little digital low either. Yeah, yeah. They're all in there. What, what were we thinking? We weren't. <laughs> <laughs> of it was just on the spot and just trying to create <clears throat> something in the direction that that uh that uh you know best uh, articulated the vision that yeah. uh, either uh, michael or quincy had you know and there was a search for uniqueness too it might have been like we'll double it on mini moog and then maybe maybe quincy it could easily have been quincy where he'd say well, try it on that thing, mm -hmm. just because it's not, you know, just to see, just yeah. try it. Yeah. And then, you know, when you're doing yeah. a session, there's no time. Yeah. So maybe I just pull up the quickest bass thing and it's like, ah, it works. Yeah. Because you're just playing it and you've got the feel and it, you hear it against the real bass and it's just adding a component. It's not, this wouldn't survive on its own. No, no, it's definitely uh, uh, an addition, a, a, great, a great layering piece. But, you know, again, there were times when we did take a lot of time to get the right uh, sound. Well, Thriller Bee yeah. did take a, a lot of time because yeah. we came back a lot. Mm -hmm. Those were long days. Join us for the next episode of Michael Jackson's Thriller album, Stories in the Room, with your hosts, Anthony Marinelli and Stephen Ray. Watch our extended interviews on youtube.com forward slash at stories in the room. Audio only interviews are available on all podcast networks. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Stories in the Room. For the latest news and links, visit the website, storiesintheroom.com. This podcast is produced by Christian D. Brune and David Wolf, recorded by Autovita Studios. Additional recording by Ben Rackless. Edited by Jay Spang and Sean Hedinger. Music by Anthony Marinelli and Stephen Ray. Michael Jackson's